Well, it's really come to this. Now, as we are aware, I have been on a home renovation streak, and I think that by completing the Property Brothers home design tutorial, I practically earned my bachelor's of architecture. So where better to test my architectural prowess than arguably the greatest CAD program of all time, Minecraft. To make this easier on me, I've chosen the most user-friendly house plans possible. Sears Modern Homes were mail-order houses that you could buy from the Sears Roebuck catalog and have shipped to your house. They were available from about 1908 to 1940, and honestly, it's a shame they stopped selling them. These houses were pretty cheap, and often the entire neighborhood would chip in and help build it like some kind of group Lego session. Fun. But instead of a fun neighborhood bonding activity with the boys, I'm going to be completing this build by myself in Minecraft. I know. Tragic. However, I am going to be doing it in survival, so that should add a little bit of flavor, especially since I haven't played Minecraft in like half a year. Yay! So I'll shut up and let's get to it! Disclaimer, I am not an architect. Go easy on me, thanks. Alright, here we go. Twins dream home, create new world. Alright, I'm excited. I don't think I've played 1.18 before. I mean, that's the newest update, right? When did it come out? Is it even new anymore? Oh. So, today, the home that I've chosen for us to construct is the Sears Magnolia Honor Built Home. Yes, very, very fancy. These were the rarest and the most expensive of all of the Sears homes. I think they only built eight in like the entirety of the line. And at the time, the Sears Magnolia, I think was like $5,140 in 1915, which in today's money is like $143,000, which still, that's not that expensive. I mean, for like a mansion. I am so impressed with myself that I haven't just died instantly. You have no idea. Usually I play in creative. Um, so this is a, uh, oh no. Okay, I'm not going down there. I, executive decision, no. So what was I saying before I got disappointed? Yes, so our materials list. These kit homes that were delivered by Sears, they used to come with all of the materials included, which is, you know, the main selling point of these. They would give you everything that you needed to build the home. So we have our own list that we need to complete. Oh, it's another portal. We'll go there in a second. Okay, hold on. We have our own list that we need to complete, much like the list that Sears would give out. So on our list, we have The zombie agrees. The zombie's gonna join us on our shopping adventure. How do most people play this game? What are you supposed to do in the first two seconds of Minecraft? I guess it's been like five minutes already. It feels like two seconds. It feels like nothing is happening. Food. Es hora de comer. Where is the food? Am I really gonna die of starvation? Ugh, we're gonna have to- Oh, it's a cow. It's a cow! It's a cow! Die. Thank you. Oh, I really wanna jump. I'm gonna do it. Woo! Yes, I am like that British man who does the diving. What is his name? Tom? Tom Daly? That's me. But in Minecraft. Do I go into the hole or do I not? To hole or not to hole? That is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind of Twin Fettuccine to go down- Oh, we're here. That was not worth it. This is fun and exciting gameplay, am I right? Yes. You see, by adding all of these like lackluster little arrangements on the coast over here. I feel like I'm lowering the property value of this world, but that's okay. We'll we'll jump that hoop when we get to it, you know? What is that? What is that? Oh no, we need to go over there. Boat time, time to boat. What is that noise? Is that me? Oh, oh crap. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Eat. Well, um, ha. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Respawn. I don't learn from my mistakes. Let me go back down. Oh, come on. Where even is he? Oh. Do we go kill him? Boss battle. Nice. So aside from my materials list, and all of the materials that we obviously need to gather to build our house, we're also gonna need to find a suitable plot of land. Because one of the reasons why these houses were so cheap, you know, like $5,000, is because they would require you to find your own land and build your own foundation. 
Luckily, this is Minecraft, so real life physics have no effect, uh, which is a good thing because that means we don't have to build a foundation, which I don't even know, what does that mean? What is a foundation? What does it do for us? I'm sure it's important in some fashion, but uh, again, I'm not an architect. I don't know how these things work. I was thinking about that birch hill up there. Ooh, that's a good place to start, I think. Because we've got like that ocean view of the uh, decrepit nether portal and underwater village where people try to kill you. I think anyone would love to see that outside their window every day. Yeah, definitely. All right, it's daytime, which means time to scout out a location for our house. Where will we achieve the greatest curb appeal? That's what we're looking for. Oh, wow, this is actually a really good seed. I'm thinking the majestic magnolia shall stand uh, here. All right, so I think this is the location that we're gonna go with for sure. So I'll get to working on that list and I'll meet you back here when I've got stuff set up. Yeah. Okay, so I've successfully returned from mining off camera. Mm-hmm. But worry not, I have the proof of my toils. I've got all of the stone stuff in here. I've got all of the wood we're gonna need. All of the concrete, the wool, and most of the quartz. Listen, the nether, uh, the nether, it was, it was not easy. Not easy at all. So I think we're ready to go ahead and get started on our house plan. Yeah, we can finally lay the foundation. So the entire house length, according to this blueprint, is... Wait, if the porch is 10 feet long, and the actual house is 36 feet, that would be 10 plus 36. Oh no, oh no, oh no, hardcore maths. 46? So, mmm, mmm. We have options here. Our options are either to build it to scale, one to one, which is going to result in an absolutely gigantic house, or we could half it, which is what I think we're going to do. Because we also have to take into account that Minecraft is not in feet. Minecraft is in meters, so that would mean one block is about three feet. Is that right? Oh, let's just half it. Let's just pretend that each block is a foot or something. I don't know. This is going to make sense. This is going to make sense. Everything's going to be proportional. It's going to work out. It's going to be fine. So instead of making the house 46 blocks long, we're going to make it 23 blocks long. Yes. Math. Okay. So this is going to be the length of our house. Now we need the width. No. Why is it raining? Oh, you can't be building this here. It's too glorious for this world. The magnolia must be built. It is my duty. It is my honor. My honor built, if you will. But anyways, okay. So here's the width of the house. There's the length. And now I guess we can start doing the actual blueprint. So the porch length, 10 feet long. And since we are having it, that would mean it's five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. Wait, 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 wait. I have just had a thought. Are they measuring the inside of the house when they're saying 10 feet? Oh no, we're gonna have to make a decision. I hate making decisions because the inside here, here's the issue. See, this is only three blocks contained. So if we have a room, that means the square footage is gonna be less. So if the house plan called for five blocks by four blocks, the square footage would end up only being two blocks by three blocks, which would be six blocks, you know? So this is an issue. So we have to make a decision whether we're gonna do it this way and just have the inside of the room be smaller than it actually is, or, or if instead when we place the outside contour here, we're gonna make it a little bit bigger so the square footage of the inside is correct. So we have to make a creative decision and kind of interpret the house plans to fit Minecraft. I would like the rooms to be bigger. I would like them to actually be usable, you know? So we're gonna do a bigger, yeah, we're gonna like trace around the edge and include the correct square footage on the inside rather than doing the outside blocks with the correct footage. So the porch, we're doing five blocks wide. So this inside part, one, two, three, four, five, should be five. Whereas the outside part ends up being, it should be seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yes. So that means we also have to change the length of our house. It should be a little bit longer because we built this originally to be 20 blocks long. So now it should be 22 blocks long, uh-huh. 
I'm so smart, guys, listen. And then the porch also has this little stairway entrance thingy where the columns go in the front. It doesn't give us a measurement on the house plans. I'm gonna go with making it eight blocks. One, two, three. Do we like that half circle? Maybe this. Yeah, this looks a little bit better. All right, so I think that's the main frame done. And now we have to work on the sunroom. So it says that the sunroom is 10 feet by 14 feet. So that would be five blocks by seven blocks. And the sunroom connects directly to the living room, which I assume is somewhere in here. So wait, wait, I put it in the wrong position. Oops. Whoopsie doo. It's like slightly above the living room. See, this is so difficult. This is like definitely a moment where half slabs would be involved because the Minecraft blocks are too big. They're too large. Hello, sir. Oh, that's right. Walk away. Interior rooms. Let us begin. And so I followed the house plans as diligently as I could, but not without complaint and critique of the Sears architects. Seriously, what were they thinking in 1918? Does this look right? This looks right. This looks like the floor plan. Why is this house like not open floor concept? There's so many walls. Oh, we're running out of dirt. We're running out of dirt. I've never had this problem before. Why are there so many closets in this house, man? And they're just like randomly strewn about. Math, 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 math. 10 divided by two is mm, five. Why do they have like a built-in fridge with the house? Did the fridge come with the house? Like, what is the situation? Wait, wait, something has gone wrong. Something has gone very wrong. There's a lot of assumptions being made. I realize this is not the most analytical architectural project ever undertaken, but you know. This is looking like a bunch of dirt and some gravel, but we're gonna make it look good. It's gonna get flushed out, maybe. What is that? No. The house isn't ready yet. You're not invited. Okay, yeah, that's the, the first floor flooring complete. I left gaps for all of the, the walls and the doors and stuff that we have to fill in. So let's get to work on the second floor then. Good job, team. We've done it. We've got the frame done for the house, for the most part. All that's left to do is just fill it in, and fill in the roof, of course. Oh my goodness. It looks great. It looks like a lot of nothing right now, but it's pretty promising. It's pretty promising. It's definitely gonna, like, tower over everything. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So like I said, I'll finish tidying this up, making it look like something. And then I'll, uh, I'll get back to you. We did a great job following the blueprints, even though they were kind of sucky and not the best. But, you know, we, we made it work. We did a great job. Great job. From the days of George Washington to the present time, the colonial type of residence has always been popular. It has housed the greatest figures in American history, science, and literature. Many will recognize a close resemblance in the illustration above to the famous residence at Cambridge, Massachusetts, where the poet Longfellow composed his immortal works. Leading architectural authorities declare that this type will continue to win favor for hundreds of years. There can be no question of its imposing appearance, graceful lines, and other attractive features. This is a house for the discriminating builder who is willing to invest a fair amount for the largest returns in comfort, convenience, and extra high quality. At the price code, we'll furnish all the material to build this 10-room house, including millwork, lumber, lath, shingles, poor ceiling, siding, flooring, finishing lumber, building paper, east child, dad spots, hash weeds, hardware, nails, eaves child cases, colony, roofing, painting, material, mantles, tile, and grates. We guarantee enough people material to build this house. Price amount includes man, brick, and plaster. And with that, the fabled 8th Magnolia has been completed. It is time for us to conduct our house tour. And let me present this as a real realtor would. Over here, we have stunning views of a birch tree, a sheep farm, another portal, and a chess monster. How lovely. Moving on, we have this beautiful deck right here. Intimidate your guests with the size of this entrance, that's right. And over here, we can walk through these beautiful French doors, which are definitely French doors. Um, Minecraft, listen, Minecraft is very limited in its options. I did the best I could. It's not gonna look exactly like the picture, but you know, I think it gets the job done. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start on our left here. 
we have this door to the outside that leads to the porte cochere unsure of what that is but this is what the blueprints told me to create so i did so this room right here is going to be the dining room it offers spectacular views of the ocean over there and the night sky i'm not gonna sleep because that would ruin the continuity as you know anyways that doesn't matter because the pantry only has one window and it shows a view of this pole right here moving on from the pantry we have the kitchen and this house this house is from like 1920 something so they have separate rooms for like literally everything so right here is where the fridge would go and right here in this alcove is where the tables and the little like breakfast nook would go I'm not sure where all of the other stuff for the kitchen. I think the sink would go right here at this block. That's what the blueprints seem to be saying. This room over here on the other side of the staircase, this is the living room. And in here is the nook. I don't know what the difference between the nook and the den and the living room is. I... And over here we have the sun room. Ooh. Again, not very sunny because it is nighttime. Yay. And I believe that concludes the bottom floor here. So let's go ahead, let's make our way upstairs. Don't hit your head there. Um, ugh. And back here in this room is the deck. I'm not sure what makes this a deck. It doesn't like have a balcony or anything from what I could tell from the house plans. I'm not sure if I interpreted this correctly, so I just kind of made it a regular room. Down here is our first hallway, and this is our first bedroom. This bedroom does not have a bathroom, but it makes up with it with this deck. Yes. And if you really need to, I mean, you can pee off the side of the deck. Who's gonna know? You know, chamber pots and all that. Did they have chamber pots in 1920? I'm sure they did. But imagine the satisfaction you'd get from throwing your chamber pot on an unsuspecting guest below. Like that skeleton there. I would if I could, skeleton. Watch out. And then on this side, we have the big bedroom. I believe this is the master bedroom, and it has this beautiful balcony which you can throw yourself off of. Yahoo! Let's close these French doors and let's move over to the second deck. This is the smallest of the two decks. Again, it's because this bedroom doesn't have a bathroom for some reason, uh, feel free to poop off the side of the deck. Cleanliness. We love it. And then this bedroom, this might be the master bedroom, because this one has the fireplace. It has this sleeping porch not sure what a sleeping porch is why this house has a deck and a sleeping porch i don't know the difference interesting and then making our way around here you might notice but what's this twin look at this entirely empty space this blank blank wall well let me show you because this house was built in the archaic age of the 1920s it has a special hidden section for the servants but nowadays we would just call it a secret room let's walk down this concealed passageway and enter the third bedroom this one is the smallest bedroom but it does have its own bath and it has its own closet here with you know some windows some great views but this is cool imagine being the kid that gets to sleep in this bedroom like hidden away every time you have to like crawl up this ladder like a little gremlin just imagine, because this leads directly into the kitchen, like, the walk from the fridge to the kitchen is so short. This is truly a marker of American innovation. And with that, I don't think there's anything left in the house to show. This concludes the house tour. Yeah. So overall, what would I rate the Sears Magnolia 10-room colonial home? I give it, like, a solid uh, 7 out of 10? Because if we recall, the floor plan of the house is pretty cramped. There's not a lot of room in the hallways. Everything's a little bit confusing. But overall, you know, I think it's a pretty grand estate. And it's pretty good for what's essentially the 20th century equivalent of Amazon Prime. Like, you could get this thing in the mail. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. But I think this is, you know, this was a fun experiment. And it translated surprisingly well to Minecraft with a lot of, you know, tweaks and adjustments I had to make to make it work. But like, it, it turned out pretty great. I'm surprised, I'm surprised. So overall, thank you guys so much for watching and for indulging in this episode of my wacky experiments. Yeah, cause this is what this is about. Experimenting, innovating, succeeding. Yes, 
And also before we wrap this up, thank you guys so much for 13K subscribers. Wow, wow, we've hit the lucky number. And I'll see you in another two months. Woohoo! Consistent upload schedule, who? Alrighty, bye bye.